Hello everyone, so this time I would like to share a very short video. As you might notice, my voice is all messed up since I had like the longest cold of my life and for a week uh, my voice has been gone. So finally it's coming back, so I think next week maybe I can start uh, recording normal stuff. But this time I wanted to share a very simple trick that I saw in another uh, tutorial video and I wanted to try in Clo as well and it actually worked. So I saw this tip in um, this YouTube channel, so she makes tutorial videos for Style 3D and maybe you know Style 3D and Clo is very similar. So you can get a lot of good ideas from the tutorial videos about Style 3D, just how I got this idea from uh, this channel. So if you're interested, you can also check it out because she also had some a very interesting detail, which, which was it like floating something or maybe that was not this one. Ah, yeah, this one, how to create a floating fringe. I think that was super fun too. Okay, anyway, so it's a very simple thing. Um, so basically you have your 3D garment and what you need to do is file export as obj and then just export it And here are the settings this time. I'm not really um, Concerned about the UV, but uh, in case you need that you need to clean it up as well, but uh, I will just do it very simply just um, single object thick and um, We don't need the avatar. So only patterns and trims and that's pretty much it and press ok and then you can um, press this button here, uh, reset to the arrangement, which will uh, uh, reset the arrangement of your patterns according to your 2D arrangement. So you can arrange the patterns in 2D how you want them. So be basically this will be the position from which your garment will start to create its shape to its final shape. So you can choose how, how it happens and you can leave it at this. For your convenience, you can maybe switch off the show threads so they're not in a way, something like this. And I also recommend to keep the avatar, whether you need it or not, just to kind of see um, where you're putting your patterns. So I will just do a very quick arrangement. I will not keep it like this. Okay, the arrangement is finished. Another thing you can do, you can switch on this grid here to help you maybe do more symmetrically the arrangement, but however, um, this will be fine for it. And also make sure you're not simulating anything or changing anything to the pattern because the mesh of your final garment has to match the mesh of this arrangement. So once you add something, the mesh will change and it will not work. Okay, so now I will export, go file, export OBJ sure to make sure you don't select the avatar and same settings here and okay now I will go file new garment because I don't need this garment anymore and then go file import OBJ and then pick shirt two and then oops choose add choose add and then okay and now go file import add OBJ and pick shirt one and then here, of course, choose the load type add and then object type should be morph target. And here, um, by default, the morphing frame count is on 30. But if you want it to be longer, you can put a higher value like 90 and then press OK. OK, and here you can see the shirt. So it's ob object file, as you can see. And then if you go to animation, you can see here the transformation from your flat arrangement to your simulated garment. And that's pretty much it, it's very simple. And look how beautiful that looks. And you can render this, you can just screen record it, you can add it in your presentation to show how the garment is constructed, what kind of items you have here, um, what kind of pattern pieces. And I think it's a very um, nice feature to play with. And of course you can also play with arrangement and maybe you can achieve some fun effects um, based on that arrangement so yeah I'm very happy I saw that tutorial video because I always was wondering how to do this kind of thing and it never occurred to me that I can use morph target and that it also works for um, the garments so yeah that's pretty much it for the video very short one um, but I hope this is useful for you and thank you for watching and have a good day bye